Hello and welcome to another Wobby Camera Guy video. In today's video, we can demonstrate how you can zoom in and zoom out of a video clip utilizing HitFilm Express. So let's get started. So I have my video clip here. I'm just gonna move this into the timeline. It's a short video clip, so I'm gonna utilize the slider at the bottom here just to spread out that timeline. And uh, what we have is an average shot of a vehicle traveling down the road. And it'd be nice if we could actually uh, zoom in and zoom out of that car just to give the video a little bit more interest. So how do we do that? What we have to do is make what's known as a composite shot. So we'll hit that little symbol there. This will come up with a standard default table for making a composite shot. Just hit OK. All the settings there, absolutely fine. And we're now into our composite shot editing part. Click the little symbol there to the left. This will then bring us to a number of choices and we need to click the little symbol next to transform. This gives us well, five altogether um, different sort of tools that we can utilize. And what tools we're gonna to use today is position and scale. What we need to do first of all then is to move our timeline cursor to where we want the zoom to start. If we click position and click scale, so just move your cursor to the little circles and click inside them, we're making what's known as keyframes. Keyframes are basically little anchor points in time in your video. So these are the points where we want the position and the scale to start. We then need to move the timeline cursor on a little bit to where we want the zoom to stop. If you grab your mouse, your use your left um, button, hold it down, we can then start to move in. All I'm doing is just moving the mouse towards the right. And as I'm moving towards the right, it's zooming in more and more and more. So if we zoom in about, I don't know, so that amount there, you can see the cars literally just sort of disappearing off our screen. So this is where position comes in. So if we click on position, we can then move the car back into the central position of our video. And by doing that, you can see now we've made two more keyframe points. We then move the timeline cursor along again, a little bit further. This is to where we want the um, video to start zooming back out again. And what we do, there's a nice easy way of just copying these keyframe points. So if you put your mouse pointer above the second keyframe point, in this case, it's going to be position, do a right click, it brings up a little table, simply hit copy, then do another right click and hit paste. Anywhere just in the gray area, it actually puts the keyframe exactly where you want to do it. So do exactly the same then for scale. So again, right click, copy, right click, paste. We then move the cursor again further on along the timeline to where you want to be fully zoomed out. This time we'll do a copy and paste on the first two keyframes that we created. So again, copy, paste, copy, paste. And then we have now our four sets of keyframes. So that's where we start to zoom in. We fully zoom in. That's a little bit of video where we continue being zoomed at that level and then we zoom back out again. But if I play it, it perhaps demonstrate it a lot better than I can uh, show to you guys. So there you go, we zoom right in. See the car, the car is now into the center of our sort of shot and then it zooms back out again. Okay, this is obviously the playback screen and it's never as smooth as you want, but what you can do to make your videos just a little bit smoother anyway, if you actually sort of put your cursor, your left cursor and make a complete sort of window around all those cursors or all those um, keyframes, I should say. If you do a right click, it brings up a little selection table. If you come down and hit temporal impolation and hit smooth, what this does, it smooths out some of the jerkiness. So if we play this again, it might just show it a little bit smoother. It probably doesn't show it that well because again, it's the, this is the pre sort of uh, um, video sort of shot. Uh, what I'll do, I'll actually export that shot and I'll show it in the completed video and it'll give you a better idea how smooth it makes it to zoom in and to zoom out. So here's the completed video clip where we zoom in, nice and smooth, and then zoom back out again. There you go. But that's basically it. So if you've got a video and you'd like to zoom into somewhere, just give it a bit more sort of uh, interest uh, and value to uh, people who are watching YouTube videos, then this is a great way to do it. So appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed this and give me a thumbs up, I've got some more HitFilm Express videos on my channel. So by all means, have a, a look at those. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you soon.